behind us with the commissioner. I'd like a chance to coach that team. Well, card is in already. Do the Ravens keep the pick or do they make a swing trade? They've said they dump out. This doesn't seem to indicate that they might. Let's go to the commissioner. The Peter Bulwer spot with the uh, fourth choice in the first round. The Baltimore Ravens select Peter Bulwer, defensive end, Florida State. Well, so the much for saying are now on the clock. Saying for weeks that they would dump out because of the cap. They had some offers. The Giants being one of them, Mel. Maybe he just looked too good at the end, right? They certainly need defense after uh, squandering all those halftime leads last year. Well, the offers weren't good enough. All they got was a three from the Giants, a three from other clubs. They didn't get that second-round pick and an offer that they wanted. Peter Bulware is just what they said they needed all year, a difference maker that can make everybody around him better. Great edge pass rusher. You see him here coming off the corner, a right defensive end. Cat Blindside pressure. He's a special performer. He's going to come in ready to work. He's been a productive player game in and game out. Very strong. Good functional strength in that 22-23 rep. So that's not a concern. You see his athletic ability here against Florida blocking a punt. This is a kid that can play some linebacker. Marvin Lewis, the defensive coordinator, worked out Peter Bulware. Came to the conclusion he could be an outside linebacker. So don't count that out. They have McCrary to be the right end. They have Burnett on the other side. Maybe initially they try bull wear it outside linebacker to plug a hole and see what happens. Well, he's a smart player. Let, let's let's get that out there. His dad, a doctor in, in Columbia, South Carolina, where he is from. Uh, Sterling is quick to point out from the crib. Uh, but uh, cap problems. Where's Baltimore? They're the closest team to being over the cap. Look at they're playing some of their players. Now, remember, these are guys not on the team anymore, but they still owe under the cap. Bad Moon Rising, a, a cool $3 million to Pepper Johnson. Of course, Eric Turner is still there. Leroy Hoard was long gone. Tony Jones, now a Bronco. I mean, this is... They said they couldn't afford it. Do you, what are they going to have to do, Mel? Well, what they're going to have to do is, is try to battle with Peter Bowler and his agent to get him in the camp on time. Yeah, Jonathan Ogden got a heck of a deal last year with voidable years in that contract. And he's going to want a similar contract. There's no question about that. We look at Jonathan Ogden's deal. That's what the agent for Peter Bowler is going to want. So it's going to be really tough for David Modell, Ozzie Newsom, Martin Modell to get him into camp on time because that's a key. As an outside, if he is an outside linebacker in this 4-3 defense, he's going to have a lot to learn. Playing in reverse, coverage responsibilities, a new position. So I think it's imperative, if that's the case, to get him into camp as quickly as possible. Well, very quickly, the Detroit Lions are up there, and it's got to be the corner, Brian 